but it was just the whether it's a little bit of small ice cubes for animals um, or whether it's a really large ice block, we do need to take into account for the physiology of the animal, the size of the animal, also the number of the animals. We don't want competition over like an ice block if it's for a group of animals. Uh, that's where maybe a bunch of small ice cubes might be more appropriate instead of providing just one solid ice block for them. They got some ice blocks which are made out of beef uh, bone broth as well as some diluted goat's milk on it. And by providing that little bit of extra flavor to it, the animals, they might lick it, get a little bit of that extra hydration and cooling that they might not even realize. So we're kind of tricking them into helping them stay cool. Uh, he loves the dripping action that comes off of his body. He loves the sensation of the coolness and he loves to preen his own feathers. So he could do this all day. <laughs> I'm adding a little bit of tuna to each bowl and then we're just gonna simply add some water to it throw it in our deep freezer at about negative 30 degrees, and then in no time we will have ice block treats for our Asian small clawed otters. Otters absolutely love it. You know, this is a nice warm day for them. Uh, they're always going to be playing in the water, but by providing the extra ice for them, it's a little bit, uh, it's going to be a little bit more cooling, refreshing for them. It's also going to be something more uh, novel, stimulating for them, most both mentally and physically as well. So the ice has multiple benefits for our animals. People love when I go to the store and say, hey, I need 200 pounds of ice. Oh, what are you getting that for? Oh, it's for the otters. And everybody loves it. They love to hear about it. They love to hear the stories uh, that we're taking a little extra care, providing ice to cool down our animals during this heat wave. Mm -hmm.